some level, it's actually an advantage to him the way he speaks in non sequiturs all the time, because any other candidate who started going off the rails like this would would obviously be admitting he didn't know what the question was or know what the try it was. With him, you can almost think, mm-hmm. oh, maybe he just came up with nine different thoughts he needed to get out. I, I don't know. Right. Like he kind of just goes off the rails all the time like this. So it doesn't. I don't know that that stood out to the average person as much as yeah. It maybe I don't think. And, and the problem is, is that most people don't know what the triad is. And uh, Rubio explained it last night. But here's <laughs> here's the here's the amazing thing. In this, the question was, Doctor Ben Carson was just talking about the triad, mm-hmm. and who's the one that we have been concerned about that knew what things were that if he Carson. was uh, Carson, we were concerned that Carson wouldn't be well uh, studied and studied enough to be president mm-hmm. of the United States. Carson was the one who brought this up, yeah. and and uh, Trump has no idea what it even means. Being vigilant and extremely careful when it comes to nuclear. Nuclear changes the whole ballgame. Frankly, I would have said, get out of Syria, get out. If we didn't have the power of weaponry today, the power is so massive that we can't what? just leave areas that 50 years ago or 75 years ago, we wouldn't about? care. It was hand-to-hand combat. The biggest problem this world has today is not President Obama with global warming, which is inconceivable. This is what he's saying. The biggest problem we have today is nuclear, nuclear proliferation, and having some maniac, having some madman go out and get a nuclear weapon. Okay, That's, in my some. opinion... <laughs> what? Uh, it's, just it's got nothing. I it mean, has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. But you'll notice he's lost... And so he's he's amping the game up. He's about to say, in my opinion, the most the most dangerous thing that we face. Listen to this. That is the single biggest problem that our country faces. Uh, the three legs. Could could anybody? I mean, let's just dissect that for a second. Do you believe the single biggest problem? Because I think he's bluffing at this point. He's just trying to throw oh, things yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Do you do you believe the single biggest problem the United States faces is a maniac getting his hands on a nuclear weapon? No. I I don't think so. I mean, is that a problem? Yes. I, but it it hasn't happened in sixty years, uh, and so I don't know that that's I mean, an, an imminent. You situation. could say you could say Iran getting or or ISIS. Getting uh, a nuclear weapon is going to be a huge problem. Yeah. Maybe he meant Ted Cruz. He did say maniac. Uh, (laughs) Is he worried about Ted Cruz getting a nuclear weapon? I just thought this was an amazing statement. Now listen. And then Hewitt throws him a little bit of a bone and explains it a little bit about the three legs of the triad. The triad, though, do you have a priority? Because I want to go to Senator Rubio after that. I think think to me, nuclear is just the the power, the devastation is very important to me. Okay, so you can tell tell he has no idea. He has no idea. idea. Because all three legs are about (laughs) nuclear. nuclear. (laughs) So all three legs of the triad, that's all it's about. And in Hewitt's question at the beginning, he explains it. He He says is what the yes, three does. legs of the triad are. In case you don't know, would you have Rubio? Yeah, Rubio. Here it is. Yeah. Senator, Senator Rubio, yeah. do you have a response? I do. Well, for, the first, let's explain to people home who the triad, what the triad is. Maybe a lot of people haven't heard that terminology before. The tri- Stop. Or maybe a lot of candidates. Yeah. 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 That, well, he didn't go there, I think that is kind of him. Expertly done. Yeah. He immediately let everybody in the room know Donald Trump had no idea a pretty important presidential yeah. uh, <laughs> trait is completely lost here. And he doesn't know this information it have without been, saying it. Would it have been inappropriate for him to say it? I mean, because it is that important for the president to know something like that. No, I, it's critical. And so would it have been bad if he would have pointed out? No, I obviously, think if, Mr. Trump doesn't know what the triad is, but the yes. triad, let me explain it. The triad, you think that would have been bad? No, I don't. I don't either. I don't know. He kind of let I, I him off the hook a if, little if, bit. If I think he it would have him, been, it would have been, it would have been one of the moments of the night between them. It would have been yeah. a massive win. Instead, uh, he he had a gentle win. He had a gentle win. Yeah. It was a win, I think, for people who follow these things closely. You know, if he says, if he calls out Trump specifically, I think he wins with everybody. Yes. Even the people who are just kind of like watching because they're they want to watch it for entertainment and they haven't yes. really been watching these issues at all. 
there, I think it's a subtle win. I think insiders and people who follow these things really closely are like, oh my gosh, he just totally schooled him. But I think the average person's like, well, I, I didn't know what the triad was either. So, yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, which is fine. It's, there's yeah, but the wrong average person is not running for president. Right. Yeah, he could have so. he could have nicely said, he could somebody have. who's running for president of the United States needs to know what the triad is. So let me explain so it to you, So let me Donald. explain it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would have been a nice yeah, slam, so but he is. does explain. Triad is our ability of the United States to conduct nuclear attacks using airplanes, using missiles launched from silos or from the ground, and also from our nuclear subs. Huh, so that's three different <laughs> things. Triad. Triad. Huh. Okay. And so what the question to Trump was is What's they're all the decaying. Of it? They're yeah. all decaying. Silos, subs, or airplanes. Yeah. What is your priority if you had one? Well, I called... I called Syria. Well, the nuclear <laughs> devastation is very important to me. <laughs> Couldn't you just said what, what? it's all important? I mean, uh, all of our nuclear arsenal has to be upgraded. I just don't think he understood but that he that's what it was about. He didn't get it. So he was yeah, he tried he, to keep it he more didn't broad know enough to do that. Uh, and just a you know a quick thought a picture. Let's take a, a little time tunnel here to the future. Um, guess who's not going to give him the nice little break when it comes to uh, explaining what the triad is in a nice way like Marco Rubio did or uh, like Hugh Hewitt did as the questioner. Someone yeah. like Hillary? Like Hillary Maybe, Clinton perhaps. and the debate moderators in the mm. general election are oh. going to go be like, Donald, do you even he, know what this is? He'll be They're going to specifically ask him. He's going to be destroyed and, and embarrassed. Destroyed. That is why the debates are so important. This yeah. is what this we, this is what weeds people out. And you didn't weed him out on this. Yeah. And yet he wins every poll. Uh, every single time, every single whether he's done well at the well, debate or not, well, but he was more gentle people. last night. And yeah, he, what he was a conciliatory, conciliatory. Yeah, what a conciliatory uh, tone he had.